Hey guys, I wanna show you two different ways to solve this logarithmic equation. First method, I wanna subtract this log base five of 25 and bring it to the other side. So we'll copy the left side down and then subtract it from both sides. And that just leaves a one on the right-hand side. Now we have three logarithms with a base of five on this left-hand side. So we can condense them all into a single logarithm. And that single logarithm will also be a log base five. So there's pluses and minuses. So that means it's gonna be a fraction. Everything with a plus will be on top. So we'll have a 10 on top and an X on top. And then this 25, since it's part of a negative log, is going to go on bottom. And then that's all still equal to 1. By the definition of logarithms, we'll take the base of 5 to the power of 1 equals this 10x over 25. And then we can solve this by cross multiplying. 5 times 25 is 125, and that's equal to 10x. To get the x alone, we divide both sides by 10, and we get 12.5 equals x. So this is a solid way to solve this logarithmic equation. Let me show you an alternative way you can do it. First, we're going to look at this log base 525, and we're going to simplify it. I'll copy it down here and I'm going to set it equal to y. Could set equal to x, but we're already using x here, so we'll just say y. Once we solve for y, that's what we're going to plug in for the log base 525. Now we're going to do that loop again, so it's the base 5 to the power of y is equal to 25. And 25 is 5 times 5, so we can set this all equal to 5 squared. And from here we can see that y is equal to 2. So let's plug in 2 for this y up here, and we've just changed this log base 5 of 25 into 2. Let's get rid of this stuff. The left hand side is 2 log base 5, so we can write that as a single log base 5. And when we condense it into a single logarithm, this 10 and this x are going to be multiplied. And that's going to be equal to, and we'll bring the 2 over plus the 1 from there. And then we can bring this down, and 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So to finish this up, we're going to do the definition of logs again. 5 to the power of 3 equals 10x. 5 cubed is 125, so we have 125 equals 10x. To get x alone, we divide both sides by 10, and that gives us 12.5 equals x. So this was an alternative way to solve it.